Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I actually, I do this a lot, um, so this is not going to be anything new for me, but I just finished up with ending the series of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, there is something that I talked about that triggered something in my mind. There were a couple different things, and I think one thing I said was something that I possibly would have talked about now. However, I don't remember which thing that was, but I do remember bringing up a couple of points that I did want to talk about. The one that comes to my mind right now, that stuck out the most of them, regardless of whether it was the right one or not, is actually... Well... There were some questions. For those who have played Majora's Mask might know this, but those who haven't, there are characters that you come across, NPCs or CPUs, it's up to you guys to that, decide. I'm going to go with the term NPC. Non-player. Non-playable characters. Regardless, interact with each one in the last area of the game before the final boss of the game and they ask you questions. One of them asked a question that was very touch base real for me. And that was, what kind of friends do you have? My history of friends is all over the place. I've talked about this before but I think it's something that I do want to at least vent about. I'll try to just keep it on a generic conversation if I can, but I would like to vent about it if possible. Anyway, onward to what I was going to say. Honestly, when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's very hard for me. I make friends, keep them, and then lose them pretty quickly. I am very, very, very lucky to have Amber right now. She's the kind of person who I know I'll never lose because, well, she's a lot like me. I've, I have thought I've found a lot of people like that in the past, but unfortunately, no. This I was very lucky to come across Amber when I did. The only reason... I have very specific personal reasons why... I know Amber is much different than all the rest of these individuals. It's something that's very sensitive to me. Every friend I've ever made in the past has screwed me over in some kind of way. There are a couple who haven't, but they've parted ways with me. So if I were to come across these individuals again, I'd check up and see how they're doing. I try to have a conversation, I try to hang out with them, maybe for at least a short period of time. Maybe grab a bite. Like, kind of a business thing. Like, where you, when you, like, for example, you know those situations where you would, like, go and get coffee with someone just to, you know, check up, see how they're doing, talk for a bit. That kind of thing. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. At the same time, though, there are so many individuals who I've tried to befriend, befriend, to the point where I feel like I may have succeeded, but only to get bitten in the butt again. You guys have seen the aftermath of this before, if you have stuck around with the channel long enough. That question that was asked, though, touched base to me to the point where it made me feel uneasy, but I tried to brush it aside. I don't know whether it worked or not. If you guys watch the gaming videos, maybe you'll find out. I hope it did, though, because the joke in that episode was actually pretty good. The consistent joke was pretty damn good, in my opinion. I like my content, that's why I say that. Anyway, I digress. This kind of stuff can be very... touchy-feely. And Friends is an extremely touchy-feely subject for me because it is very hard for me to make a friend. Forget keeping one. Making one on its own is extremely difficult for me. Right now, if I'm betting anything, the friend ratio that I have, unincluding Amber, unincluding my fiance, if I were to give it to anybody, it would be very, very different from everyone else's. 
Is it something that I pain like painfully aware of? No, unless I'm consistently reminded of it. I wasn't consistently reminded of it in the video that I did before this, which you'll see later. I know it's a little weird. But it did make me consistently think about it. That's kind of why I talked about it here. I don't know. I, I guess this is just kind of my fate. Make friends with others until they I have satisfied the needs that were needed for them. That's kind of the only pattern that I've noticed, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in the distant future I'll find some more friends who are more firm, actual friends to me. Outside of... The very few that I ever seem to make, I guess. I don't know. At this point I'm venting and hypothetically speaking. I'm gonna leave this video here. For those of you who stuck around for this video, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you have any like words of advice that might help, I'm kind of an introvert, mixed introvert, extrovert. Introvert at first, but extrovert once put into a situation kind of thing. If you have any suggestions of this kind of thing, please let me know in the comments below because I always feel like I'm in the dark and I know it's technically my fault. But if you guys have any suggestions otherwise of anything you'd like me to talk about, whether it's about me, kind of like this, I guess, or a discussion and rant type topic, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out what I've already done, click the links on the side of my head. Or if you want to check out the channel for any other live stuff that I've done, or gaming stuff like what I've been talking about today, I mean, heh <laughs> heh, check the link in the description below for the channel itself. In the meantime though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.